and welcome to my channel. My name is Sandy and this is the Sister Cousin Lifestyle Channel. And over here I do home decor, I do shopping hauls, thrift hauls, cook with me, clean with me, pantry prepping, and a whole lot more. So if that's something that you're interested in, please don't leave today without hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload videos. And if you are a returning family member, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back over here again over here on the Sister Cousin Lifestyle channel. Today, what I'm going to be sharing with you is a very small shopping haul, grocery haul. I went to Aldi today and just picked up a few things, but I wanted to share them with you. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up today, then just keep watching. All right, so we'll start over here. I picked up this organic popcorn with sea salt. I usually always pick this up from Aldi. I do enjoy that. I also enjoy popping my own popcorn as well. So I picked this up and this was truly an impulse buy because I had no idea they would have this, but this is a microwave popcorn maker and it looks like it makes a reasonable serving size of it. So I thought I'd give that a try because I don't like the actual microwave package um, popcorn. So I'll give that a try and see how that is. Um, I got some blueberries. I love blueberries. I like them in oatmeal, cereal, pancakes, that type of thing. I picked up some Jiffy um, corn mix and that'll go in my prepper pantry. Um, I picked up some cheese and this is the white cheddar. And I also picked up this Borgonzola. Now I've never seen this before, but I do like uh, blue cheese and I do like Gorgonzola and it looks like it's kind of a mix of the two. So I picked that up and I'll eat that on my salads with some crackers or whatever. I picked up some iodized salt and um, this will be for my prepper pantry. And this was only 29 cents for this. So I will be putting that in the pantry. Um, I picked up some vanilla caramel cream uh, for my coffee and some um, grapes, green grapes. They were 69 cents a pound. I remember seeing that, which was a great deal on that. Then I picked up um, this bag of salad. And normally I don't like um, bag salads, but for whatever reason, this one attracted me today. And this is the uh, Sweet Kale Chopped Salad Kit. I have had it before and it's pretty good. I really like the dressing that comes with it. So pick one of those up. Picked up these uh, Hawaiian rolls. I always pick those up from Aldi. They're a lot cheaper than the Hawaiian rolls from the regular grocery store. I think these are like a dollar or something. I picked up some pumpkin puree and this is for my prepper pantry. And I actually like to keep um, cans of this on hand because when my dog gets sick, this is something that helps his stomach. So I do like to keep this on hand for him. So that'll go into the pantry. This is also for my prepper pantry, some more olive oil. I always like to pick those up because I do go through that. I have quite a few bottles of that, but I, I use it daily when I cook. I picked up some flour and this is also for my prepper pantry. Um, so I'm actually gonna be putting this in the freezer to try to kill off any potential um, bugs or whatever that's in flour. I hear that you're supposed to do that. I've never done it before, but I am going to do that since I am stock, stocking up on extra flour and things like that. I'll have more of that in my pantry than normal, so I am going to go ahead and do that. It's kind of gross to think about it, but it's even more gross to think about the fact that there could be bugs in your flour when you buy it. So <laughs> I'll put it in the freezer. I think you're supposed to leave it in there 24 to 48 hours and then take it out and put it in the pantry. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I got some cilantro. I always pick up cilantro and I always pick up the green onions when I go there. Um, I picked up some of this uh, cranberry almond chicken salad. And this is something I used to love to um, buy for my lunches. I hadn't had it in a very long time. So I thought this would be something good, a nice treat to have again. It's delicious on crackers or croissants or even on the Hawaiian rolls, it's a nice little snack. This was truly an impulse buy. It is a um, 
round butter pecan cheesecake. It just looks so good. And I think it was $4.99. So I picked that up and it was, you know, not a huge, huge cake, which is good. Um, so if I end up eating it all, it won't be so much damage maybe. <laughs> and then I picked up another thing that's bad, a loaf of this um, French bread, the baguette. I get that every now and then. That is truly a treat as well. I like to have that with a little bit of olive oil and pesto. Um, and so those are the, I, the food items that I picked up. So let me share the last item that I got. All right, so this is the other item that I picked up. These are some eight inch mums. They were $3.29. I thought that was a pretty good deal for these. They're really healthy looking and they have a lot of buds on them, no blooms yet. So they should, um, you know, they should turn out nice and full for, for the fall season. So I was happy to get them. So now let me show you how this popcorn popper works. So basically all you do is you take your popcorn and you put it in the small little silicone lid. And then um, once you put that in there, you put it down in your cup and put the lid on. You put it in the microwave for just two minutes. And I can tell you that it did pop up very, very nicely. Um, it, the kernels were nice and, and big and everything, but it was so dry. <laughs> and of course it would be because you don't put any oil or butter or anything like that in there. So um, when I took it out and I tasted it, it tasted, you know, okay and everything. I'm used to unsalted popcorn, so that part didn't bother me as much, but I did need a little bit of butter flavoring. So I just remedied that by um, pulling out some of my uh, Orville Rettenbacher butter flavoring that I use a lot, and I put that um, on top of it, and it was a lot better once I did that. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. It just looks like regular popcorn. Everything popped nicely. There were no kernels left in there. So that part was all good. It was just, you know, a little bit on the dry side. I do prefer my Whirly Pop, my old fashioned um, popcorn popper that I use to cook over the stove. But this is okay for, um, you know, if I'm in a hurry or if I want to make some popcorn to go or just make a small portion, this will do. And for the price, I didn't think it was too, too bad. So I would say if you like popcorn, give it a try. You won't be disappointed. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And again, like I said, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please don't leave today without subscribing. And I hope to see you back here on my next video. Bye-bye.